We are going live from Strogsville High School in Strogsville, Ohio for the biggest game of the 2024 high school baseball season for the Black and Gray Brigade. We're about ready to do infield outfield out here. As this is going to be a dandy. It's featuring your good old Highland Hornets and those rough and tough St. Ed's Eagles. The 12th seed in the region, St. Ed's. We were the 13th seed. But one game, one winner take all showdown. And one team season is going to continue against Avon. I believe Wednesday, the loser. Yep, they'll have to wait till next year. Well, I don't want that to happen for us. We've been looking forward to this one for a long time, folks. This team very good at what they do. Winners against Garfield Heights, 16 0. Beat Brexville, 6 1. Then beat Strongsville, 14 0. St. Ed's, they. Who'd you guys forfeit to again? St. Ed's. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I forgot who they forfeited to, but. I do know they beat Brunswick 5-4 in a game of baseball back on Tuesday. The game was supposed to be yesterday, but Bruns not Brunswick, uh, St. Ed's was having their graduation ceremony last night, which would have interfered with it. So here we are today with the biggest game of the season. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tommy Maroon. I will be your guide. Hit, your, or hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon on these videos. But the biggest game of the season, ladies and gentlemen, Highwood St. Ed's. I don't think it gets any bigger or better than this when you take on a school like St. Ed's, a school that's good at every sport, a school that's top-notch in everything. But you know who's also a school that's really good and top-notch in everything? You guessed it, the Highland Hornets. And we'd love to pick up what would be our fifth or district championship in school history, joining the likes of 2007, 2008, 2016, and 2018 being the most recent one. Of course, for these seniors, they were freshmen last time we played St. Ed's. We lost on a very controversial no uh, out on second on what was a routine double play. We clearly got him by half a stop. The second base umpire thought otherwise and coach Grissom was not the happiest man out there he will not be very happy if we lose this game he will be pretty calm and happy about it if we win today but the mission is not accomplished yet even after this game if we win is the question there's still a lot of baseball left to be played including today of course coach Grissom really dialed in today He's walking out all press, told me, hey, don't stay in the dugout. We got to stay dialed in. And, and honestly, I can't blame him. I'd probably do the same thing, man. Well, who's pitching for us? It's Dan Miller in the biggest game of the season for us. For them, it will be Henry Slaby on the mound for the St. Ed's Eagles. Slaby is number 52, Dan Miller number 20. As we are looking forward to this one. We've been waiting all year for a game with such significance like this one. And they're so rare in this day and age. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh yes, let us enjoy the show and enjoy the heck out of it. Because we are gonna have ourselves two very good schools today. Oh my goodness, cannot wait. The fans are filing their way in here today. We are going to have a pretty good crowd. St. Ed's always brings a good crowd. We always bring a good crowd. I'm pretty sure you all know that by now. How was that practice on Wednesday? When I talked with Coach Grissom, he said the focus wasn't on the Eagles yet. It was on, to, on that day. And then he said the next day it would be focused on that day's practice. And now today you concern, you got concerned about the Eagles. Well, Dan, let's get them today. Up, we are looking forward to what should be a fun one. Dan just made his way up here. That's what Coach Grissom is very famous for doing, taking it one game at a time, one step at a time. And he has just done phenomenal during his time here. Two-time district champion. 
How nice would it be if this is going to be his third district championship? We'll find out in about 90 to 120 minutes from now if this will be a district championship for us at Strongsville High School. Once again, Strongsville's baseball field. I know you don't see it, folks, but trust me on this. Take my word for it. It is a good baseball field. I got to admit that. Pretty impressive. Nice place to be. Up next will be the starting lineups of National Anthem right here at WHBW, so stay tuned, folks. Well, folks, we're done with the infield outfield, so you know what that means. Soon is going to be the National Anthem and starting lineups and all that fun stuff right here on WHBW, your one stop for all things Highwood and Baldwin Wallace. Yes, sir, we are in for a treat today, as you know by now, as you can tell by the title of the video. It is Highland Hornets baseball against the St. Ed's Eagles. Winner take all game for the district championship. If we win this, we're playing Avon and Gates Mills. If we lose this, our season's over. It's that simple. If St. Ed's wins this, they play Avon and Gates Mills. If St. Ed's loses, their season's over. It's that simple. We will be the road team for we are the lower seed as we are the 13th seed, hi Mrs. Knapp. As we are the 13th seed, once again, St. Ed's is the 12th seed. Coach Grissom has been locked in all day. He's one of those guys that loves this game and cares deeply about winning and cares deeply about everything. He's been focused all day. And I'll blame him. That's been the only thing I've been concerned about all day, too. <laughs> Cannot wait to see who's going to come out on top. Hopefully it will be us. The umpires aren't here yet, or at least it looks like the umpires aren't here yet. Otherwise, we would have had them behind the plate. Coach Chris, I'm waiting for him. Head coach for St. Ed's is Jimmy Clark. Jimmy Clark, their head coach. He's assisted by Tim Clark, Don Raymer, Mark Sankovich, and Ben Princek. So that's how it looks for those uh, St. Ed's Eagles coaching staff. We're still waiting to see what the, what do you call it? What the umpires, where the umpires are at least. There will be three of course, rather than the usual two. For this is the district championship. Our lineup looks a little like this. Well, I would reveal the lineup, but they're gonna give you the lineup anyways. So what's the point of it? <laughs> All righty, folks, it's going to be a dandy today. Coach Chris, I'm talking with his fellow coaches. He's not letting any media in today. I don't blame him once again. I do the same thing. The dimensions here at Strongsville's baseball field, it is 290 out to right, but a high wall, a super high wall. In fact, all the walls are pretty big, but the right field wall is pretty, pretty big. 320 out to left and 350 out to straightaway center. That's just how it looks for those. Oh, who do you call them? Strongsville Mustangs, but of course the Mustang season ended last Tuesday when we took them down. 14 nothing. But we need to put that in the back of our minds. We need to focus again, focus on what will be one of our biggest wins in recent memory, which is really saying something because we are trying to eye our third district championship in the last 10 years. So we'll be waiting for the umpires. Whoa, whoa, didn't mean to do that. Try and stand up, we'll see. I'll see anybody. Tommy, how we feeling today, buddy? I feel pretty good. good. Feeling really good. I don't know where the umpires are once again. I assume they're on their way. I would shock, but I'm very limited today where I can walk. In fact, I have to film the ground. Brought my earbuds, not earpods, because, well, I don't know how to do that with the uh, microphone. That ain't easy. That ain't easy whatsoever. Excuse me for one second.
Yup, I don't see them anywhere. Oh, they're right there. Thank you. I apologize. My mistake. They are here. And they're ready to rock and roll in a minute. They're just not on the field yet. And besides, it's not even 4.30 yet. And stop the music. They're still waiting for the game to be in. Hey, Casey. St. Ed's a tough school through and through, to say the least. I see the umpires. They're right there. They're on the field now. There are three of them today. One will be calling balls and strikes. One will be at first. One will be doing both second and third. Sort of Ladies like a minor league game. game. Let's game. listen. To Strongsville Baseball Park for the Ohio High School Athletic Association District Division I final. Superintendent Dr. Cameron Riva. Principal Bill Wrangler and Athletic Director Denny Ziegler of Strongsville City Schools extend to each and all a cordial welcome. Thank you for your support of high school athletics. Our game this evening features the Eagles of St. Edwards High School versus the Hornets of Highland High School of Medina. Both teams are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and abide by the rules and regulations set forth by the association to maintain high standards of conduct competition and relations with member schools. An attitude of good sportsmanship should be reflected by the athletes and all spectators. The umpires for this evening's game have been selected and assigned according to procedures adopted by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Our umpires are third base, Daniel Dogman. At first base, Michael Cody. And calling Again. balls and strikes behind the plate, Ronald Fuller. And now the starting lineup for the Hornets. Coached by Jay Grissom. Assistant coaches Todd Winston, Rob Hargrove, Ben Stobbs, Jonathan Brunty, Ben Brunty, Jacob Bernard, Robert Bernard, and David Christopher. Batting first. At the shortstop position, number two, Noah Radigan. Batting second, playing right field, number 25, Casey Miser. Batting third, playing first base, number 13, Hunter Winston. Batting fourth, the DH for today, number 14, Peyton Gandalf. Batting fifth, playing third base, number 12, Shane Cope. Batting sixth, doing the catching, number 11, John Tope. In left field, batting seventh, number seven, Jaden Barr. Batting eighth, playing second base, number five, Cameron Cook. In center field, batting ninth, number 10, Landon Soy. On the mound, pitcher number 20, Dan Miller. And now the starting lineup for the Eagles. Their head coach, Jimmy Clark. Assistant coaches, Tim Clark, Don Raymer, Mark Sankovic, and Ben Princik. Batting first, playing shortstop, number 22, Danny Tome. Batting second, playing second base, number nine, Braden Page. Batting third, at third base, number three, Grant Lushutka. At the DH, batting fourth, number 11, Carlo Hepp. Batting fifth, number eight, doing the catching, Jack Lopes. Batting sixth, in right field, number 21, Drew Mali. Mali. Batting seventh, playing first base, number 14, Langston Lucas. Batting eighth, 
in center field, double zero, Brady Barker. Batting ninth in left field, number 26, Vince Waters. On the mound, pitching number 52, Henry Slaby. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may we ask you please rise, remove your caps, and join us in honoring America and those who serve to protect her and those we remember this Memorial Day weekend with the playing of the National Anthem. Time to play for the district championship, folks. We'll get back to you in a bit. That was the voice of Luke McCool, if you could hear him. The team motivational speaker. He does a good job. Definitely gets us all hyped up for what should be a dandy of a day. Field looks a little like this for St. Ed's catching Jack Lau. At first is Langston Lucas. Second, Braden Page. Third, Grant Lashuka. Short, Danny Tome. Left is Vince Waters. At center, Brady Barker. And at right is Drew Maley. You heard our lineup, but in case you decided to skip out on everything and jump right here to this point in the video, I don't know why you do that, but oh well. Here's what it looks like. Noah Radigan, Casey Miser, Hunter Winston, Peyton Ganda, Shane Cope, John Toth, Jaden Barr, Cam Cook, and Landon Soy with Dan Miller doing the pitching. We are going to be in for a treat today. Forgot to mention Carl Happ is their designated hitter, and the pitcher is Henry Slaby for the St. Ed's Eagles. We are in for a treat on this beautiful Friday afternoon. The Eagles are practicing out there. This should be a fun one tonight. Once again, winner claims the district, loser goes home empty-handed. I do not want to go home empty-handed. How much how are you? Pretty good, thank you. We're in for a dandy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some high school baseball. Yes, sir. Noah Radigan waiting things off in the district championship with all the marbles towards the center, all the chips in. Winner gets all the chips, loser gets nothing. That's the only way I can describe it, folks. Henry Swaby pitching. Here we go, Hornets Eagles, first pitch is a foul ball, first base side. Great to have you aboard, Timer is your play-by-play -play announcer. Noah Radigan, the shortstop on the team, he's also on the basketball team. He is a very talented athlete, as you know by now. He does a great job, to say the least. Nothing in one to Noah, here's the kick, Slaby wants to go. There's another foul ball, first base side, and just like that, Noah's down nothing in two. An old kid is going to try to race for the ball. <laughs> Got off the kid inside all of us, folks. Oh, two. Here's a pitch to Noah. Oh, he's down swinging one gone. That ain't good. 
Well, folks, what is good, however, is that Casey Miser is at the day. Casey Miser. So Swaby's first bat he faces is a is a swing and a miss by Noah Radigan. Casey Miser watches ball one. It's one and zero oh to the sophomore. As mentioned so many times before, Casey also the fullback on the football team. He did really good. One zero, oh, two and zero oh outside. He's he's probably gonna be a four year starter here at Highland. He started. Last year as the right fielder, as he goes golfing and missing at that one, it is a two and one count. He should not have swung at that, but it's still all right. Two and one year count. Swaby lets it go. Casey with a roar foul and a two oh count has now become two two. Now you start to get a little concerned if you're Casey, but not freaking out yet, it's not the end of the world. 2-2, two -two. Swaby trying to get a second strikeout ball game. Ooh, good job by Casey to foul that one, third base side. That one could have been strike three, but Casey did a dandy of a job protecting the plate. Still a two ball, two strike count here to Casey. Swaby is ready, catcher Jack Wow getting him set up. And Casey's down swing. Two gone. That's back to back strikeouts to start off this ball game. Never a good sign. Now up the bat. What is a good sign is that Hunter Winston can change our fortune. We need someone to change our fortune out here. Why not Hunter Winston? First pitch. Oh, he swung at a 59 foot breaking ball like he's Javi Baez or something. Oh, one. Never look good after that, but it's not strike three, fortunately. It's just strike one's the 0-1. Oh, no, he's down 0-2. Slaby so doing a great job right now. Trying to strike out the side in order. Here's the 0-2. Ooh, it's a ball. Oh, it was blocked by the catcher. Wow. Thus making it 1-2. and two. So a good job there by Hunter showing a little... More maturity out there. One ball, two strikes a pitch. He's down swinging. He just struck out the side, unbelievable. We are a team that likes to hit too. That is not good. But it is good that there's still a ton of baseball left to be played, 0-0. We are back here on WHBW, it is a 0-0 score, Danny Tom waiting off, followed by Braden Page, followed by Grant Washuka, then Carl O'Hap, then after that, it's Jack Wow, then it'll be Drew Maley, then Langston Lucas, then Brady Barker, then Vince Waters. On the mound for us, Dan Miller. Dan has done a great job so far this season. This is the biggest game he's pitched in his life, I would assume. At least that's what he'll tell you. Danny Tom gonna wait things off. He is the shortstop and the weight off man, just like Noah. Except rather than wearing number two, he wears number 22. Well, the only way to get back after a rough first inning is by getting a one, two, three inning. Crossing fingers, praying to God, hoping that it happens. Dan Miller, very good what he does. I believe Dan's only a sophomore too. First pitch. Foul back, 0-1. So, Henry Slaby struck out the side in the first inning. He's getting a break now. As the 0-1 coming up. Oh, he swings and misses at the low. Breaking ball. Another Javi Baez swing and a miss. Strike two. 0-2, nobody out here the first inning. Bottom of the first inning. Danny Tome is waiting. Dan does not get him yet. It's outside. Good eye. Something you don't want to see. Want to see him swing and miss in case scenarios like those. As looked like Dan had trouble getting the ball right there. One ball, two strikes. Dan Miller lets it go. Ooh, it's outside again. Two, two. He's got to calm down. He's got to remember. It's still, it's still. 
Two strikes. As he gets at the pitch. Oh no, it's 3-2 way upstairs. Braden Page waiting patiently on deck and I hope he doesn't get on base. Whoa, whoa, can you get that for me? I can. Thank you, here comes your payoff. And he walked him. So he went from 0-2 to 4-2. Is it going to be one of those games, Eagles. folks? Second baseman, number nine, Braden Page. Braden Page is up for the Eagles. That was not the most picture-esque scenario to kick off this game for Dan after he had 2 Winds up blocking him, first pitch. He misses again. That's five consecutive balls now for Dan. Just needs to relax, that's all. 0-0 zero, is zero. Braden Page is the batter for him. Just need a ground ball, that's what I'm concerned about from Dan Miller. 1-0 run, takes off, hit and run, foul back. And I'll make it a one ball, one strike count here in this first inning, bottom half of the first inning. Well, the shade isn't really doing me a favor right now, as it was earlier today. One ball, one strike. Dan looking at the runner at first. Pickoff attempt, and Hunter won't be able to tag him. So at least Dan did get a strike on a hit and run foul ball back. Braden Page is the second baseman. I'd watch out for Tom again. Tome not going, shows blind, it's popped up, first base side, Dan's gonna have to hurry, Dan falls down on it, he's gonna have to eat it. You knew this is what St. Ed's was gonna do, they are a small ball team, and Dan with an air, he fell down on the ball, actually they're gonna call it a base hit, Stan corrected. They call it a bunt single. Grant Lashuka up with an opportunity to make this thing look bad. All right, guys. Watch out for another bunt. He shows bunt. He gets one towards the third base side. Dan is going to eat it. He has to eat it. You knew they were going to do this, folks. You knew they were going to do this. Now the bases are juiced and ain't nobody out. Carl O'Hap is the batter. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I was out of phone storage as the first pitch coming up is a ball. 1-0. Man in scoring position courtesy of a sack fly by Carl O'Hap. Sacrifice fly as here's Jack Wow. 1 0. He takes first strike 1 1. Hey, if Dan can limit the damage out here, we'll be good. Did get a much knee out. It was a great throw by Casey, too, right to John on target. Just got the tag a half a second late. 1 1. And that might get a run as Landon's on his horse going back, going back. He makes a great catch. Runner's going to tag head home. It is 2 0. We're already down in a hole. Now at the plate for the Eagles. Drew right Maley's the batter. Drew Maley. It was a sliding catch by Landon. He almost misjudged the ball right there as Drew Maley, the right fielder, trying to make it 3 nothing. But I pray to God that doesn't happen. St. Ed's fans have shown up and Full support today as Dan Miller trying to shake things off. First pitch, ball one low. You know he's got a lot of pressure on his mind. You know he's got a lot of concern. All right, we're down two nothing, but it's only the first inning. Things can only get things can get better, folks. Here comes your one ball, no strike pitch as Cam playing towards the bag. Here it comes, swinging and missing one and one. So back-to-back -back sack flies have resulted in two runs being cashed in for the Eagles. 
So this won't be an easy game for us. I can tell you that. One ball, one strike, the pitch. Swinging and missing, making the count one and two. One ball, two strikes. He's a strike away from ending the first inning. Not much. We're still waiting. Dan is ready. Dan gonna let this thing go. Almost got him to bite on the low and away curve. It is two and two. Two bunt singles today for St. Ed's that Dan misplayed. But he can shake things off with the third out right here. He's a strike away. There's only one on. Run second ground with Shuka. Two two pitch. He struck him out walking. And that concludes matters in the first inning. But things did not go that well for us. We gave up two runs and we went down in order swinging in the first. We'll see if things change. It is the top half of the second inning as we're going up against Henry Swaby, a man who struck out the side in order in the first inning. Yeah, it was rough. Hopefully Peyton Gandish, Shane Cope, and John Toth can do better than striking out in order. Because that's what happened to Noah Ragg and Casey Miser and Hunter Winston. Still an early contest, but we're down 2-0 to the Eagles. The Pesky St. Edwards Eagles. Coach Hardgruff makes his way to first. Coach Grissom out at the third base coach. Peyton Ganda is the batter. For the Hornets, TH number 14. I believe Ganda is a junior. Feels like yesterday he was starting as a freshman. First pitch. Strike one, 0 and 1. I noticed that Slaby was bouncing a lot of the pitches during practice. As the 0 1. Oh God, Ganda down 0 2. Cannot let him get another strikeout. He's working fast. Here's the 0-2. Oh my, four strikeouts. He got him to swing a mess. Shane Cope needs to do something other than strike out. Just make metal, make contact. It's all you got to do, folks. This case scenario. First pitch. Oh, God, he swung and missed out a terrible one. Oh, why? Already a disastrous start for the Black and Green Brigade. Down 2-0 to the Eagles. We're trying to pick up a win over St. Ed's. Oh, one. And he bounces that one all the way to the backstop. Oh, one. Better patience there from Shane. Shane had a few RBIs in yesterday or Tuesday's contest. Was a 14 0 trouncing over the Strongsville Mustangs at this same spot. 1 1. Found it back and he's down in a 1 2 hole. And Coach Grissom can only be shaking his head thinking, here we go again. Four batters, four strikeouts today for Slaby. The 1 2. Good eye there. It's upstairs 2 2. That's exactly what we needed, folks. As it is two and two, the pitch. Three and two upstairs. I think this is his first three ball count of the ball game. John Toth waiting patiently on deck. Three, two, one out. And Shane Cope on a full count. Reaches out, bloops one in the air out to shallow right where the catch is made by Braden Page. Would have been best had he never swung Catch at it. Would have likely have been ball four. John, John Toth is the batter, so that's the first non strikeout at bat for us today. Slaby, first five batters he has faced, he has retired pretty easily. John just trying to snap out of this rhythm. First pitch. Oh, God, he swung and missed out. Horrible pitch. Oh, one. Eagles, two. Good guys. Zero is Henry Swaby doing a good job. Here comes the 0 oh, 1. He is going to swing and miss. He's a strike away from getting what would be his fifth strikeout of the ball game. And John 
Just needs to get something out here. Oh, two. Getting set here. John Toth is waiting as Henry Slaby. Gonna wait. Timeout taken. Maybe he did that on purpose. Maybe throw him off his rhythm. That wouldn't be a bad idea, folks. I'd be half tempted to do that, too. And he struck him out swinging. The throw down to first is gonna get him. Five strikeouts through two innings. Good God. It's two nothing ads. Bottom half of the second inning. Dan Miller had her up first. He got two bunts headed in his direction. Failed to do a thing with both bunts. They were generous enough to call them hits, fortunately. As it's a bomb the order here for the St. Ed's Eagles and Langston Lucas, Brady Barker, and Vince Waters. We are still yet to record a hit. We are still yet to record a base runner. I know that may be me overreacting, but that's how things start, unfortunately. Dad needs a shutout inning here. Nothing else. First pitch, Lucas. Fouls one out to deep block. That's on one way trip for the softball field, which is to the left of us. Nothing in one as Dan is set, lets his own one go. A little outside, 1-1. One, one. Lucas, the first baseman, bats left-handed. Here's the 1-1. One, one. He's going to bounce into his own position at first. It is a three unassisted by Hunter Winston. One gone. Now up to bat for the Eagles. Center fielder, double zero, Brady Barker. Brady Barker is the batter. A much needed out number one there for the good guys. See what we can do here. As Barker trying to get some cooking for his Eagles. Ooh, a ball that bounced, 1-0. He is double zero and is a center fielder. Very rare to see a number zero in baseball. I know Andres Jimenez wears that for the Guardians, but still, 1-0. Inside. It is a double zero, folks. Two balls, no strikes. One out here in the bottom half of the second inning. And Barker is ahead 3-0. Vince Waters waits patiently on deck. Two nothing here in the bottom half of the second. The pitch on 3-0, he obviously takes. That's a second walk issued by Dan today. Ninth batter, left fielder, number 26. Vince Waters, Vince Waters is the batter for St. Ed's. The all-boys school located in Lakewood, Ohio. Not shabby distance from here. Parker at first as Dan misses again, 1-0. Watch out for the bunt. Shane is playing on the infield grass. I don't blame him. If I'm Waters, I try to push one towards the first base side. I'd be paranoid about that. 1-0. He takes strike one, one and one. Didn't want him hearing me, folks. Waters trying to make something happen, but Dan needs that much needed ground ball out here, folks. 2-0 score here in Strongsville. The one ball, one strike pitch, runner takes off. Hit and run in the hole right for a base hit. Men are at the corners. Here we go again. If it was Noah playing on the bag instead of Cam, we'd be talking more than likely a double play. Danny Tome is the batter. Men at the corners here, one out, and I assume they're just gonna give him second. Vince Waters, I'd be half tempted to steal second if I'm him. He does not. There's a foul ball back. Now both of St. Ed's runs have came in via the sack fly today. There is one out, so a ground ball is your friend. That is unless Vince Waters decides to go. If I'm John, I might pump fake. Got the run a third in some trouble as the 0 1 is low, 1 1. Got Brady Barker hung out to dry, perhaps. He's at third, Waters at first, one out. One ball, one strike. Dan Miller letting it go right now. 
Strike one, two. March needs strike number two. For now, it is a 2 nothing ball game in favor of the Eagles. They have three hits. They've had five base runners today as a 1-2. Oh, he grounds one of the hole. It sneaks by. It is 3-0. Here we go. This might be a long day, folks. At the plate for the Eagles. Braden Page, who had a bunt single last time, is off. A diving Hunter Winston couldn't do a thing about that. All right, this game is on the verge of being in blowout territory. First pitch, he shows bunt. Gets a good one down, Dan. He's going to have to field cleanly. He does. One, throw down a cam. Two gone. But now men are at... Scoring possession with to Tome at Eagles. second and Waters at three. third. Lushutka. Lushutka is the batter. Dan just needs to get this man out in any way, shape, or form. First pitch. He's going to ground one right back to Dan. At plenty of time, throw down a first, and that concludes matters in the Second inning, but not after more damage done. It is a 3-0 ball game. Adds on top. Bomb half of the third or top half of the third inning. Peyton Gandis cooking in the bullpen for us. We'll see if he checks in or whatnot. Because right now it's been a rough start. 3-0 adds. Jaden Barr, Cam Cook, Landon Soiling off. That's a bomb the order against a man that struck out five of the first six batters he has faced. Henry Soiling, he's had a two strikeout in every at bat today. Now I'm starting to show a little more concern. First pitch, Jaden Barr, high and in, 1 0. Oh. All it takes is one base run to get a rally going. That's how I view it. One ball, no strikes. The pitch coming up. Upstairs, good eye again by Jaden. It is 2 0. Oh. Slaby behind in a rare situation. He's been in command all day. 2 0 oh coming up. And he got him a swing and miss. 2 1. Jaden trying not to be the sixth strikeout victim of the ball game. As it's 2 1, the pitch. Oh, he found the corner. 2 2. Ganda no longer in the pen right now. He's just sitting down. 2-2 Two -two coming up. Jaden's going to watch. 3-2 Cam Cook waiting patiently on deck. Full count. Ain't nobody out. First bar of the inning. Jaden Barr on 3-2. Fouls it back. Ooh, he need to get some contact on that thing. Otherwise, it'll likely be strike three. Cam gets the ball. Three runs, four hits, no errors for St. Ed's, no runs, no hits, no errors for the good guys. Payoff. And he walked them. All right, that's our first base run of the ball game. You can kiss the perfect game goodbye for Slaby. And once again, I said it a minute ago. I'm going to say it again. A rally starts with one base run can start a giant rally, folks. Here's Cam Cook. Third baseman playing in, and Grant Washuka. Jaden at first. Nobody out. Slaby looking at Jaden. Pickoff attempt. He slides back in there safely. I don't know if Cam's bunting or whatnot. If you do, you try and push it towards the first base side. Is a third baseman and Mashuka playing on the infield grass. He's bunting. Holds up. Strike one, though. Just a pressure day here in Strongsville, Ohio. Nothing in one to count. Will Cam dare bunt again? Pickoff attempt, Jaden safe. Nothing in one. K 
Hammer, second baseman, hasn't had any poise towards his way. Today he shows Blunt again, and all one, he gets it right back to Mount. We'll see where they go. They'll go down first, lobbing it down, getting the out, but the sack punt was done. And Landon Soy with a good opportunity here. Randy Landon Soy to get something cooking, folks. Center fielder, number 10. Landon For we don't Soy. have a hit today. Landon, the center fielder for us. Trying to get something cooking. Short stop and Danny Tone playing close towards the bag. Where Jaden is at second base. First pitch, Landon Soy. Rips one over the middle. That'll sit down for a base hit. Here comes Jaden Barr. No, Jaden Barr will not come around. But it is our first hit of the ball game. Couldn't have come at a much better time, folks. As it puts men at the corners here with one out. And Noah Radigan, who struck out, is up. No Landon's thinking about stealing second, folks. You know it's on his mind. I don't know if the catcher and Jack Lyle will will throw down. Why did I say swing? I don't know. Tying run at the base for us, Noah Radigan. Looking at the runner at first and Landon. First pitch, Noah bounces one foul towards our dugout. So Landon, our number nine hitter, gets our first hit of the ball game. Came in the third inning, but you know what they say, better late than ever. One ball, one strike. As Slaby getting set, he's gonna try to pick off down at first. He did not get him. That's good. Landon still at first. Bang, bang, play to say the least as Langston Lucas did a good job trying to apply the tag. Nothing in one that count here. Noah Radigan has another pickoff attempt. Not gonna get him. Henry Swaby very paranoid about, about that runner and Landon. Why not? Landon's fast. Not with the big lead off. And now he's going on all one ball. He pump fakes, throws down, and now Jaden hung out to dry like clothes on a hot summer day. He is in a rundown, a jelly of a jammy. Missed the tag, and then he tagged him. Oh my goodness. And it's nothing in two. Landon did take second, but at what cost? Here we go again. That's exactly not what Jaden wanted to do. Now he's going to have to make some contact. 0 2 count here. Swaby so trying his third shutout inning 0 2. Ooh, a good stab there by the catcher and a good job of laying off there by Noah. Jack Wilde, their head coach, or their catcher, I beg your pardon. One ball, two strikes. Their head coach is Jimmy Clark. One and two here to Mr. Radigan as the pitch coming up. He takes it low and away, 2-2. Two -two. Jaden's got to be kicking himself after that one. I would be if I were him. 2-2. Two -two. No one's waiting. There's Petch. He's down walking. He is down walking and our means of attack are foiled pretty fast. Two and a half innings down. We are down 3 nothing. It is the bottom half of the third inning here in Strongsville where the good guys are down 3 0. And it's 4 5 6 still up for the Eagles. And Carl Hepp. After Carl Hepp, it'll be Jack Lowe. After Jack Lowe, it'll be Drew Maley. Actually, it's up number 11. For the Eagles, number 11, designated hitter, Carl Hepp. Carl Hepp is number 11, actually. So I stand corrected. First pitch, whoa and away, one up. 
Once we have the two, three, four batters due up in the fourth inning, but Dan Rowe, you have to lock in, folks. 1 0. Misses. On the way. Ganda still cooking in the pen right now. Has a 2 0 coming up, Dan. Induces a fly ball out to left. Jane Barr going to have to get there. He got there. One gone. All right. Jack Lau is up. For the Eagles, center fielder Jack Lauks. 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 Waiting. First pitch. Strike one. A good curve. All one. Jack Lauks with one out. Here's the all one. He misses inside, 1-1. One, one. Now keep in mind, folks, the Lauks had a sack fly out to Landon last time. 1-1. One, one. And now he's going to smoke one to Cam Cook. Good play, two gone. That is a rough out, number two for Reds. And now Drew Maley is up. Number 21, the right fielder. Now batting for the Eagles, right fielder, Drew Maley. Drew Maley, two out here in the third inning, first pitch. He fires his strike in there, or it's nothing in one. Maley is the only man to strike out today for the Eagles. It ended the first inning. 0-1 coming up. Good stab there by John as it's way well, makes it a one ball, one strike count. Still waiting. Dan Miller trying to get that third out, folks. One and one. Comes set the pitch. Ooh, he missed a low low. Two one. Thought that was in the zone, but home plate umpire, the only man whose opinion matters here today, thought otherwise. Two one pitch. High in the air, out to shallow left. Who's got that? Who's got that? Looks like Noah Radigan's got that. They went down in order. How about that? A mini victory. You will take them when you're down three, nothing after three. We'll be back. Well, we're in the top half of the fourth inning here in WHBW. It'll be Casey Miser, Hunter Winston, Peyton Gandal leading off, and dear God, we're going to have to get some offense cooking soon. Down in a 3-0 hole to the St. Ed's Eagles in the district championship. These three Come batters the struck out in their Great last at-bat. And only at-bat today as Henry Swaby has been dominating. Only one hit today. And no runs. Two base runners. It's two, three, four because Jaden was caught in the middle of a rundown. Casey watches ball one, one and oh. I mean, it happens to the best of us, that's for sure. We're always rough to see that nonetheless. One ball, no strikes. Getting set here. Casey Miser is going to whiff one, one. It's not what you want to do in this case scenario. One ball, one strike. Henry Swaby is the batter. Or pitcher, he wants to go, and that one's bounced. Two and one. Coach Grissom, of course, has been in the district championship and has won two of them. 2016, 2018 is 2-1. Is spoiled foul out towards left. And now it's a two ball, two strike count to Casey. He'd hate to strike out again. I'm pretty sure everybody here would hate to see him strike out unless you're a St. Ed's fan. Two balls, two strikes, the pitch coming up. High in the air out to straightaway left, going back, making the catch there, the left fielder and Vince Waters. Hunter Winston the is the batter. Baseman, number 13, Hunter Winston. We gotta give us credit where credit's due. Only one of the last seven batters have been a strikeout. 
Hunter Winston trying to help us out. He fouls the first pitch way back. Nothing in one here with what out. Hunter Winston trying to get something cooking on one. There's a high chopper over the third baseman's head for a base hit. That's good. Second hit of the ball game for the Black and Green Brigade. Pitt and Ganda, the designated hitter is up. Now batting for the Hornets. Designated hitter, number 14, Peyton Ganda. Ganda trying to get on base, that's all he needs to do. Third baseman playing in, that's of course Grant Wachutka. Slaby, what's his first pitch going? Oh, it's a foul ball, almost at Hunter for some odd reason. Foul ball third base side, by the way. I meant to say Ganda, because Hunter's at first with one out here in the top half of the fourth inning. All in one. So looking at the runner at first, now gets set. The all one to Ganda, upstairs, catcher. Has to jump up, Jack Wilkes, the catcher again. We mentioned that a few times today. One ball, wide strike, one out. Peyton Ganda is up. Struck out last time. One ball, one strike pitch. There's one that's fouled off him. One, two, he's gonna have to walk it off. Still a three, nothing ball game. As we approach the halfway point of this thing, Ganda's waiting on one and two. He's got to stay calm. He'll, he'll stay calm. One, two. He struck out swinging. That is seven strikeouts in the ball game now for Henry Soybe. Now up for the Hornets, third baseman, number 12, Shane Cope. Shane Cope is going to have to get on base. There's no other way around it, folks. Shane Cope with Hunter at first and two gone. First pitch, and Shane grounds one towards short. Good play there. He's got time. He throws it down and gets it out. A one pitch out. We did got a base hit, but nothing to show for it. Time's running out. It's four, three nothing in favor of St. Ed's. Halfway home, it's... Seven, eight, nine, two up for the St. Ed's Eagles. And Langston, Lucas, Brady, Barker, and Vince Waters. What Dan Miller needs is another good inning. He's gotten better as the game has progressed, folks. We're trying to pick up what would be our fifth district championship in school history. Our third in the last 10 years, and of course our third since Coach Grissom took over. Heading to the plate for the Eagles, first baseman number 14, Langston Lucas. Langston Lucas, the first baseman is up. He grounded out to his own position in third or first base last time, excuse me. First pitch. He's gonna foul one to one. I see nobody in or throwing in the pen for us, but I do see some people sitting down on the bullpen bench. Oh, one pitch. It's low, one and one. We have nine outs to go for our season ends. It'll be John Jay and Cam waiting off as this one's fouled out to left, out of play. <laughs> So Dan has only had one strikeout today. He's trying to get the second out here. Why not make it a length, so Lucas? One, two, pitch. Nope, it's low. Two, two. Dan, once again, has gotten better as the game has progressed, folks. Gave up two in the first, one in the second, one, two, three in the third. Two, two. Ground ball back up the middle. Noah Radigan there gonna have to throw down and get the out. One gone. Good play. Brady Barker with a walk and a run scored is up to the plate to now the plate for, for the, the Eagles. Eagles. Center fielder, double zero, Brady Barker. Barker double zero. 
Four pitch walk last time. Here comes the first pitch. It is. Whoa, one out. Just like to say, Dan has retired the last six batters he has faced. Pretty good. And what's not good is that he's given up three so far. One out. He fires one in there. It's one one. One ball, one strike, one out. Dan Miller wants it go. He fires one in there, it's one two. Dan has really matured in the time being since a rocky first and a rough second. One ball, two strikes, timeout taken. And we have six, seven, eight, two up in the top half of the fifth inning. One, two. Fouled it, just barely spoiled it, unfortunately. So it won't be a strikeout. It'll still be 1 2 to Brady Barker. We need Dan to strike him out here. 1 2 pitch. It's going to be a foul ball off the screening, and Barker refusing to go down easily. One ball, two strikes, one out here in the fourth inning. More than halfway home, more than likely. One, two. Out again, my goodness. My goodness. Parker doing a great job. Not going down easily. Next one, two. He went around. That is a swing and a miss on a check swing. Two gone. Second strikeout today to for Brody Dan Eagle, Miller as Number Vince 26, Waters Vince is up. Waters. Waters has won the four hits today for the Eagles. Here comes the first pitch here to Vince Waters who watches for a strike 0-1. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Dan looking like a much ref, much more reformed pitcher out here in the third and fourth. Oh one. Did he go? They want to peel down to first. They want to peel down to first. Yeah, so two. All right. So now Dan is strike away from retiring eight straight. All right. Oh two, the pitch coming up. Ooh, it's dropped by John and just a bit outside. One, two. Vince Waters trying to get something for his Eagles. One, two. That one's low and in. Almost hit him. Good thing it didn't hit him. After it was 1 0 2, it's now 2 2. Good thing Waters didn't swing at it. He could have quite easily have made it to first on the drop third strike. That would have been even worse. 2 2, the pitch. And John thought that was strike three, called, he was ready. But it's ball three, oh, oh high and in. Danny Tome would be next. One for one today's Tome with a run and an RBI. Payoff coming up, and Waters is looking. Ball four. First base runner given up since the this guy, Tom Danny Tome. Shot, number 22. Danny Tome. Tom grounded one past the diving hunter last time. Dan just got relaxed. His Tome is going to hit one a second. Not an easy play for Cam. He's got it. Three gone. Cam Cook also looking pretty reformed too. Well, what's not looking reformed are our bats. We're down three nothing after four. Yes, sir. It is the top half of the fifth inning. Unfortunately, it's not been going that well for us. Down 3 nothing to the Eagles of Eds. John Toth, Jaden Barr, Cam Cook leading off for the good guys. And my, oh my, we're going to need something on offense. And when I mean something, I mean something. John struck out last time. He is one of the seven strikeout victims today. Noah and Gandalf struck out twice. 
Mr. Bailey. Hello. First pitch coming up to John. He wisely lays it off. Oh, no. Yep. Okay, good. I thought I was in trouble for a second. <laughs> nope, you're never in trouble, Tommy. You know me, I'm always paranoid. One ball, no strikes. Yes, we do need a rally. Mr. Bailey's 100% right. The 1 0 coming up is fouled back by John. The Ashland commit. 1 and 1. Ashland, not a bad university. They're D2, so that's pretty impressive. John's going to be going there next year. One ball, one strike to the catcher. And Henry Slaby wants to go. High in the air, first base side, foul territory. Does he have room? No, he does not. One, two. Nice effort, though, by Langston Lucas. Now John down, one, two. Nobody out here in the fifth inning. Targang trying to get something cooking out here. Here's your one, two. Slaby does not strike out John yet. It's high and in, two, two. But still seven strikeouts to do four innings for Henry Slaby. He's been doing a dandy today. We need to crack his code, two, two. Three and two, high and in once again. Jaden Barr waits patiently on deck. Going set here in a full count, the payoff. Oh, he struck out swinging a bad pitch. Another K2-3 for John. We are looking kind of immature at the dish today. We only have one walk, eight strikeouts. And five players have struck out out of those five, three of them. I've done twice. Jaden way behind on the fastball, 0-1. Jaden walked, got down to third, and ultimately hung out to dry. 0-1 is low, one ball, one strike. No offense, folks, I'd love to announce more baseball this season. Or down to our last state out, 1-1. Jaden hits one high out to deep right center of that ball. Oh, he dropped it. Jaden going to go down a second. He better hold there. He does. Talk about a stroke of luck. Maybe that's what we needed. Cam Cook's the batter. We'll see how they rule that. They will rule it in E8. At the plate. For the Hornets, second base Talk about luck. Brady Barker had the ball sized up and then had to go in and out of his glove. Cam Cook is the batter. Runner at second and Jaden Barr, one gone. Nothing going on the pen for us yet. First there by either team today. Looks like we'll be ready to go in just a minute as a shortstop. And Danny Tone playing close to second. One on, one out, Jaden at second. Cam Cook waiting. He watches strike one, oh one. District championship here in Strongsville. Winner gets Avon, loser has to wait about 10 months from now to play again. Oh one. Oh, he swung and missed that at oh two. Cam Cook down in a hole. Things are looking kind of worrisome now. If there's one guy that can change it, it could be Cam. He had a sack bunt last time, 0-2. Reaches out, he fouls out one deep, out of play. Three nothing here in the top half of the fifth inning. Good guys down. Have a run scoring position for only the Really, the second time today, one and two the count, and Cam Cook reaches out and fouls another one, same area. Still a one ball, two strike count. We're going to need Cam to get on as Slaby trying to get him out. One ball, two strikes. 
Gang Sire Patch. Good eye there by Cam Cook. They want to peel down the first, but I don't think he went. He did not, says the umpire. Good call, 2-2. Two, two. The umpire not at first, he's at second, for there's someone at third right now. Two and two, one out. In this fifth inning, we're down three, nothing. Two, two, Swaby said he lets it go. Cam with the Baltimore chopper towards the first base side. It's a miscommunication, but Swaby runs through the bag and gets the out. A one unassisted, Landon Soy is the batter. Landon has won the two hits the today. Center fielder number 10. A Landon single Soy. back into center. But man, oh man, he's really gonna have to get a hit here. Jaden at third once again. I doubt he'll be caught in a rundown though. Two gone. First pitch to Landon. That's a ball and it gets away and a good idea by Jaden to hold. One and oh, it went in and out of the mitt of Jack Wilkes and literally his mitt danced away from him. One ball, no strikes, Landon's shown a lot of patience now. Landon always a speed threat. One ball, no strikes, your count. Top half of the fifth inning. Two out, 1-0. Whoa, 2-0. I see Noah Radigan waiting patiently on deck. He would be next. That is if he can, if Landon can get on base. Hopefully cash in the run. Jaden at third, two gone, 2-0. Oh, he threw a strike, 2-1. Just been a worrisome game for us so far. Down by three to the Eagles. 2-1, the pitch coming up. Outside, three and one. All right. Noah once again would be next. Noah would be next. 3-1 coming up and landing is going to take for ball four, tying run at the dish. It is Noah Radigan who's had a rough date so far. He is 0 for 2 Top with a pair of strikeouts. Two. Noah Radigan. Try and get that in the back of his mind. Henry Swaby trying to get that third out of the inning. First play at second, unfortunately, so anything hit to short or second won't be helpful for us. Noah trying to get something on base. Does Landon run? I don't. There's a ball low and away, 1-0. I do not run if I'm Landon, because then once again, I mean, this happened earlier today. Runners at the corners, Jaden at third, Landon at second, Landon took second, and then Jaden was Run down and gun down. One ball, no strikes. Pitch to Noah. Upstairs and in, 2-0. Oh. We're still waiting. Hopefully Swaby throws something bad again. Something for Noah either to crush or something for him to look at. 2-0 oh pitch. He fouls that one way back, out of play. That makes it two and one. Pressure filled day, pressure situation for the good guys. Could quite easily be thirded out, but Slaby, or not Slaby, but the center fielder, Barker, dropped the ball, two one. Oh no, Noah down two two. He can't strike out for a third time. He just cannot. And I fear that's going to happen. Two, two, two out, top of the fifth. Landon at first. Here comes the pitch. Landon's going. He got him walking. 
Noah has had a bad day today. It happens. But now it's still a three nothing ball game after four and a half. Bottom half of the fifth inning. Braden Page who has a bunt single and a sack out, sack bunt. Now up for the Eagles. Is up. Second baseman. Dan nine, Miller Braden Page. trying to get that one, two, three inning that he got back in the third. Trying another shutout inning like he did in the fourth. He lobs one in there, all one. It'll be two, three, four, two up for the Black and Green Brigade in the sixth inning. As once again, time running out for us. Oh one. one Strike two inside. It is nothing and two. Nothing and two here. Braden Page is waiting. He will step out of the batter's box. Dan Miller's had a good day, but Henry Swaby seemingly one-upped him. 0-2, oh, he did not strike him out. Dan thought that was strike three. He was walking off the mound. It was not. It is a one ball, two strike count. Dan is ready. What's it go? And he fights one first base side and foul. Dan Miller trying to get another shutout inning under his belt. He gave up three runs in the first two innings. He's looked pretty calm ever since. One, two pitch. High and then two, two. No errors for us today. I will admit that. That is impressive. Whereas Zeds has one. Two, two coming up. Fouled again. Still two balls and two strikes. See someone out playing catcher for us in the bullpen, as in watcher, I should say, but nobody cooking. It was Ben Coyne. Two balls and two strikes is your count. Pitch. And a line shot in the left center. That'll drop. Their first set in a while, folks. Grant Wasirka's up. Now at the plate for the Eagles. Third and Coach Grissom making a long walk. Does he want to go with a new pitcher? I think he might, folks. I see Peyton Ganda checking in. Dan Miller, not a bad day for Mr. Miller. He calmed down in the end. District championship as Coach Grissom shakes his hands, gives him a pat on the back. An arousing applause from the crowd. It will be Peyton Ganda coming in when we get back. Once again, at the well, Peyton Eagles, Ganda three, just finished his warm, warm up as Grand Wachuk is up. Three runs, five hits, one error for the Eagles. No runs, two hits, no errors for us. Wachuk had grounded out to Dan last time. Does the runner go? No, he shows blunt. They're good at this as it's fouled down third base side. He probably would have found himself on base too. I, all, I just forgot, considering how they haven't had too many base runners lately, they are indeed a small ball team. That's how they cashed in two runs in the first inning. No balls, one strike, pick off attempt down first. Didn't get them. Oh, one year count. He's bunting again. He gets one back to Gann. Again, his guy go down to first, throw down to first in time. So it's a sack bunt. Did got the first out of the inning. But still, runner in scoring position. As I try and prove they're not done yet. Number 11, Carlo Number 11, Hap is up. Dear God, we're gonna need something. We're gonna need a much needed out number two. We got it here to Hap. He has a sack fly today. Inside, one and oh to Hap. He's 0 for one, RBI, other than flying out to Casey, which scored a run, he flew out to Jaden as well. One ball, no strikes. John with a good stab at it, 2-0.
And now Gaddis are to lose control. Nobody in the pen for us right now. As it's 2-0, the pitch. High in the air, foul, first base side. Ain't nobody going to get that. Carlo Hop, the designated hitter. It's number seven on the program, but he's really wearing number 11. Two and one, Noah playing towards second. Two and one pitch coming up. There's one in the hole, left field. That could be a run. Jaden with it, he throws it into Shane, and good thing it's not a run. Men at the corners here for Jack Lauks. Honestly, a little surprised that they didn't send the runner there. Lauks, the batter. And now they're gonna have a pinch runner, number six, Peter Govna. Govna at first. No, Logan Zaramba, I beg your pardon. Peter Govna is number five. Logan Zaramba is number six. So it is Zaramba at first, Page at third, one out. Sam Edge trying to bust this thing wide open against a guy like Peyton Ganda. First pitch. Good stab there by John, one up. One ball, no strikes. We'll see if uh, Zumba goes. 1-0. He fires a strike. Good job there by Peyton. 1-1. One, 3-0 one. score right now. It'll be Casey Hunter Peyton due up for us in the top of the six. If we get to the top of the sixth inning, there's currently one out. Runners at the corners. Earn dancing. Pick off them down at first. Hunter doesn't even apply a tag. One, one, one out. We need a ground ball and nothing else, particularly towards Cameron Noah. Sean Bunt and a snap throw. Ooh, tried to get him down at third, but no throw. Two, one. Jack Wilkes with a sack fly as well. And try to hit one, maybe towards center left field. Casey's got a good arm. 2-1. Fouled back well behind me, 2-2. Two, two. So you got banned in the bunt attempt now. Two and one. Men out the corners. Braden Page at third. Logan Zaremba at first. 2-2. Two, two. Dribbled foul down the third base side. I said that might have been a good thing it was dribbled foul. He probably would have found his way on base logs. Either that or a run probably would have scored maybe if Shane threw a bad way. Two balls, two strikes. Ganda. Go on it, go. Run takes off. There's a line shot over the middle. It's 4 nothing. It is 4 nothing. Now Landon fumbles the ball. Well, I think the odds of a comeback are Swim to none, and I'm afraid Swim has left the building. At the plate. For the Eagles. Runner ta run scored tag to Dan Miller as Drew Maley is up. They're going to pinch run for him as well. It'll be number one, Nick. Viraguati. Pitch runner. Number one, Nick Viraguati. Viraguati, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Drew Maley, the batter. Four runs, seven hits, one error for the Eagles. No runs, two hits, no errors for us. And they're going to ball this wide open, aren't they? First pitch. The third base, that's a fair ball. Shane steps on the back for one. He throws down a first, and they're going to call it foul. They are really going to call it foul. That looked fair, but 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, one. Thank you. That means a lot. Can't tell from here. Not a good view. That's all. <laughs> that's going to hurt us. Oh, one. Four nothing. Add six outs away from clinching the district and playing Avon. That game will be at Gates Mills, Gilmore Academy, 0-1. High and in, 1-1. And has got to calm down. No, it's not looking good for us, but still, just got to calm down. 1-1, the pitch. Fouled back off the screening, top of the screening, 1-2. This is reminding me a lot of our game against Strongsville last Tuesday. We scored two runs in the first, one in the second, got zero in the third and fourth, got one in the fifth, and then went crazy in the sixth. I got a bad feeling St. Ed's is going to do the same thing to us. If not, they'll do it earlier. One, two, pitch. That looked like strike three called. But the on point umpire thought otherwise, it's 2-2. Two, two. Drew Mayway, 0 for 2 in this thing. With a backwards K and a pop out to Noah Radigan. Gando lets his 2 2 go. 3 and 2. And now he's in danger of having the bases loaded. Langston Lucas on deck. He would be next. Wouldn't be surprised if the runners got a jump start. 3-2 after it was what? 1-2? and two? Yeah, 1-2. and two. Runners go. Payoff is a ball. Throw down third is obviously not going to do anything because it's ball four. Now it is Langston Lucas. Number 14, Langston Lucas. The Eagles are ready to bust this thing wide open. First pitch. High in the air out to shallow off. Someone's got to get that chain cope trying to get it. He got it. Two gone. Wow, we needed that. Here's Brady Barker. Brady Barker, double zero. He is 0 for 1 with a walk and a strikeout and a run scored on said walk. 4 nothing here in the bottom half of the fifth. Barker watches ball one well upstairs, 1 0. 4 nothing, so it's still not over yet, but it won't be easy. We do have the meat of the order due up in the top of the six if we ever get there. 1 0. Foul tip in the mitt, 1 1. They had three straight base runners before that pop out to Shane Cope. One ball, one strike. Here it comes. Foul back. He's a strike away from getting out of this. At last is what we're thinking. 1 2. 4 nothing ball game, St. Ed's leading. Barker waiting. Here's Gandas 1-2. Oh, that looked like strike three called, but the umpire once again. He's had a tight strike zone today, 2-2. 2-2, two, two. Two, two, two out. Here comes the pitch. 3-2, runners are going to go. Vince Waters would be next. Here we go again. 3-2, every base runner is going to take off. Please, dear God, here's your payoff. And he walked them. And it's going to be maybe 6-0, nope, 5-0. Well, we could not have picked the worst day to freeze up. Coming to the plate for the Eagles, left fielder number 26, Vince Waters. Eighth batter of the inning in Vince Waters. As Eds is in cruise control out here. 
Ganda had a strikeout. Body blew it. First pitch. Guns a strike 0 1. We're going to need to score five runs in a two inning span, bare minimum, if we want to win this thing. That ain't easy. 0 1. To second base, Cam plays it off the hop, and the inning mercifully ends with a ground out to Cam Cook. And now the Eagles are looking even better than before. They are ahead by a score of 5 0. It is the top half of the six, and right when you thought things couldn't get worse, they are getting worse. Five nothing, and Henry Slaby, who had a nice inning of rest, half inning of rest. He's got to deal with Casey Miser, Hunter oh, Winston, and Peyton Ganda, but our bats have been AWOL all day. Nine strikeouts today for Slaby. Casey 0 for 2 in this thing. First pitch. He's going to foul that one. 0 1. We've been looking kind of immature at the plate today. Swinging at a lot, missing at a lot. Fouling off a lot. Not that much good metal out here. 0 1. And speak of the devil, he just went around 0-2 on a check swing. They want to peel down a first, and never mind. Home point on first says he wants. Casey down 0-2. Got your rally caps on, folks. We're going to need them. Casey is going to foul one off the catcher. Let's hope he's all right. Did he hold on? No, he did not. Thank God. It's still 0 2. Just been a rough day for us, folks. Still no balls, two strikes to Casey Miser. He, like many, does not have a hit today. Like everybody but Landon and Hunter, without a hit. Nothing in two. Casey fouls that one. Well, he's making Slaby work at least. No balls, two strikes. Getting set here, the pitch. Good Lord, he's down swinging. Here's Hunter. Up to the plate. He has a hit today. First baseman number 13, Hunter Winston. And it was only, he only made it to first. And that was it. First pitch, Hunter Winston fouls it off the tree. Can the Bobcat can make that something cooking for us? Because nothing has been cooking for us today. At least on offense. Oh, one. Oh, 2 Hunter has struck out once. As the pitcher has 10 today so far. He's looking for number 11. Here's the pitch. He got it. Now Payton Gann to try and help out his own cause. For the Hornets, designated hitter number 14, Payton Ganda. Peyton Ganda swings and misses. Can we get a hit at least? Seemingly that is almost impossible for us. Oh, one Ganda watches. He almost went around too. One one. He checked his swing on that thing. One one. He almost won. They may want. They may appeal. They don't though. Two and one. Two and one. Our top four batters are one for 11 today with nine strikeouts. It could be one for 12 with 10 as Ganda's now down 2-2. Two, two. 
Here we go. Walking to strike out the side again. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. He does just that. 5 nothing. We'll be back. Peyton Ganda in for his second inning of work. 5 nothing. Season on the line. Season looks like it's going to end in frustrating fashion, especially with the offense. An offense that has struck out an incredible 12 times today Turn through six innings. innings. Up to bat for the Eagles. Shortstop, number 22. Danny, Danny Tome, Tome is up. Crowd makes noise for Tome. First pitch. Ball one upstairs. It'd be even more embarrassing if we got Mercy ruled out here in the district finals. 1-0. Ground ball, all roller to short, and he might get on base. No throws on the run. It's on the money. One gone. Good play there by the junior shortstop. Now batting for the Eagles. Second baseman, number nine. Braden Page is two for two and the two for yeah, two for two. With two runs scored. What off that bomb, half of the fifth. That pitch nowhere near the zone. It's blown away, wow. Still, you cannot say that we had a bad season. We got to the district finals, for gosh sake. 2 0, first time in six years we got here. This team hopefully won't be going anywhere soon. But still, 2-0 is a sharp ground ball to short. Good play again, Noah Radigan. He throws down. Good stab there by Hunter. Two gone. Now up for the Eagles. Grand Lashutka's up. Lashutka. Lashutka is one for two with this thing. A lot of folks of ours waving, unfortunately. Yeah, it's been one of those days, folks. First pitch, one and oh, high and in. My goodness, here's your one oh. Fouled into the back. One and one. Peyton Ganda having himself a good day today despite striking out an incredible three times. So trying his best to say the least. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Fouled back. 1-2. One, They've only had one 1-2-3 one, inning today. That came in the third inning. Ganda trying to strike him out here. Mashika waiting. 1-2. That looked like strike three called. And Ganda can't believe it. 2-2. Two, two. Winds up being a little outside. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Ganda induces a foul ball back. Likely with the win is going to be Henry Slaby. With the loss, Stan Miller, who pitched his guts off today. As there's a swing and a drive out to left, but Jaden Barr sizes it up. Well, folks, it's all coming down to this. We got to do something fast because we're down 5 nothing. Last shot for us coming up. Say your prayers. Do everything you need because this is not looking good. <clears throat> Swaby has returned back to the mound, top half of the seventh. Last gasp of breath for us. We're going to need an incredible five runs here in this seventh inning for an offense that has been missing all day. Number 12, third baseman, Shane Cope. Well, it's been a great season for us. Do we have one big inning left in us? One more big inning left in us? I really hope so. Shane Cope waiting off. Two hits for us today. Shane Cope weighs it off, 1-0. Shane Cope, John Toth, Jaden Barr, 
There's one, a short, easy play here. He's got it. He throws down a first one, gone. Shane grounds out to short for the second time today. Now batting for the Hornets. Number 11, catcher, John Toth. Danny Toth Tome on that play as John Toth is up. John has struck out twice on two bad pitches. Could have gone down the drop third strike, but like that was going to happen. Strike 101, five strikes left. It will be St. Ad's Avon in the regional semifinals unless we can string up something insane. 0-1. Oh, High and foul out to right. Ooh, that may hit some folks. I heard it. 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Oh, Slaby. Wants to go. Thank God it's upstairs. 1-2. Two. two hits in the district finals. Ain't going to cut it, folks. That looks like is what's well, going to be one two. It's fouled back. John refusing to go down easily, but still a long way to go. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then back to the top of the order. If we get to the top of the order, one two. Ooh, that would have been a good pitch to swing and miss. If John was going to swing and miss at something, because that one danced all the way to the backstop. 2-2 two, two here to John. John Toth waiting. Here's the pitch. And we're down to the last out. He struck out swinging. That's the Baker's dozen now for Swaby. Jaden Barr last hope. For the Hornets, left fielder, Jaden Barr. Well, it was a good season, a great season for us. Made it to the district finals, ran to a buzzsaw known as Henry Slaby. Jaden's down 0-1. I'll be honest, I really thought we had a shot at winning today. 0-1. Thank God it's slowing away, 1-1. Really thought we had a fair shot at winning this ball game. One ball, one strike, and we're down to our last strike, 1-2. So I'll be trying to finish this game. He's your player of the game, folks. He had a great day today. He's got one strike to go. Here's your one, two. Oh, man, it's going to bounce away. And once again, if there was a pitch to swing at, I guess Jaden could have swung at that because that would have put him on at first. Crowd going nuts to my right where St. Ed's is. 2-2, two, 3-2, two, two. Cam Cook would be next. Cam Cook would be next if he comes up. 3-2, and the pitch. Ball four, so Jaden is on for the second time today via walk. He also reached on an error. Coming to the plate for the Hornets. Second baseman number five, Cam, Cam Cook. Cook. That is only our one, two, three, four, five, six base runner of the day. That ain't going to cut it, folks. First pitch, Cam Cook. 0 oh, 1. He swung and missed. St. Ed's Avon. I mean, honest, once again, we had a good shot at winning this one. I really did think we had a good shot. 0-1. Oh, All and away, 1-1. One, one. I don't know if they have anyone stirring in the pen. Gando will be having a no decision because the loss will go to Dan. One ball, one strike. Here it comes. In the air, straightaway center, that's going to do it. St. Ed's win. And a great season for us draws to a closure. With the catch there, Brady Barker. Congratulations, St. Edward. The Eagles will win the district. The district Division one championship. A great season comes to an end. 
We were left empty handed. Also, to the Highland High School Hornets. Runner up. This is awful. We will now get ready for the award ceremony. Tired gang looks devastated out there. I'd feel devastated too. I am devastated too. Ed's five high one nothing. We're done for the school year, folks. That is hard to believe. We are done. I'm Tommy Maroon. Thank you for hanging out with us throughout the fifth season of WHBW. We hope to see you next year. So long from Strongsville.